Hello YouTube and um, welcome to my channel again. I thought I'd do an unboxing video. I was going to do this video um, to show you what I'd picked up since PS3, PS4 sorry's launch last November I think it was, but I thought I'd throw in a few games that I've had for a little bit longer than that but I've never broadcast them. So this is the unboxing video for those. So we'll start with some uh, Dreamcast things. So first off we've got Star Wars Demolition. Dreamcast as I said, so this is uh, nice and sealed, I picked this up off eBay for £4.99 I'm going to keep that sealed, my uh, my collection goal for this year is um, is to collect mainly sealed Dreamcast So the next one, as you probably saw just then, Shenmue 2 I know the outer cardboard sleeve is a little bit tatty but this was £20 and that's including postage I was not going to say no to that, I've never owned Shenmue 2 in my life I do have Shenmue 1, which is just there sitting snug next to my uh, Skies of Arcadia and Digimon World. So uh, that's that one, Shenmue 2. Next, I picked these up off Game Trader a few days ago. The buyer, the seller, sorry, was very, very, very uh, helpful. Uh, vibration Pack, still sealed. We've got a NTSC VMU, Visual Memory Unit. I don't know if this works on a PAL Dreamcast. If someone could tell me, that'd be fantastic, but I think it'll be staying closed anyway. And also, we've got a sealed Dreamcast controller. So that'll be standing there. I know you can get these in the uh, plastic casing as well, but I prefer the cardboard box one. So that's my Dreamcast stuff anyway, so we'll just uh, leave those there. Next, we shall move on to one item for the GameCube. That is Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. This is the second time I've owned this. This was actually a gift this time. Didn't pay an absolute penny, and I regret nothing. So that's... Uh, Absolutely fantastic. Actually, it might have been a trade for a poster, but either way, it's uh, Twin Snakes. No one's going to say no to that. Like I said, I traded my original one in for the uh, GameCube Game Boy player a while back. Regretted that immensely. Apologies for the shaking on the screen. That's my hands bloody vibrating. There's that one there. Uh, one game for the Wii. Uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. As you can see, it's still sealed and it's staying sealed. I'm going to put that in the... Uh, future investments pile I think so there's that only played a little bit of that game and it's fantastic right we'll move on to the Game Boy stuff so we'll start with Game Boy Colour I picked up Star Wars Episode 1 Racer I always wanted to give it a go on the Game Boy Colour I can tell you now it is rock hard and it's not amazing but it's a nice fun little romp if you want to play on your colour £8 I paid for that that's complete as well next I paid £10 for this complete fantastic condition I mean look at that I mean there's a little bit of a bit of tat there but that's nothing £10 paid for that Pokemon Pinball and the best Game Boy pickup I've got in a long time is Bosh Pokemon Ruby I mean there's a little bit of scratch on this, the uh, front there but look at the rest of this box and trust me on this it is immaculate inside we've got the game we've got the inserts we've got the booklets and I paid £18 for that with £2 postage that is that's an amazing buy Next, I've got a few DS games. I just wanted to buy these because I wanted to play it. We've got Zelda Spirit Tracks, one of my favourite Zelda games. I don't know if a lot of people will agree with me, but I'd like people to agree with me because it's fantastic. Way better than uh, Phantom Hourglass as well, in my opinion. Next one, Bargain. Sealed Pokemon White 2 in a local supermarket. Morrisons were selling off their stock cheap, £7. That's staying uh, nice and sealed. Next one, Pokemon Y. Sealed. I paid. I did pay retail for this. I got Pokemon X. I thought I'd buy this at the same time and keep that nice and sealed and play one of them. Ended up playing X because my friend was playing Y. So that's that one there. Next one also sealed. Got this for fifteen pounds. Um, the place where I used to work. It was a toy shop. Some gentleman came in wanting to trade this in because he'd been bought a duplicate copy. Um, our store credit was fourteen pounds trade, which is pathetic. I said, you wait right there, I will run to my locker and give you £15 cash right now. He kindly agreed, and that is staying sealed. That can go with my other sealed Zelda. Next, we've got a few PS1 games. Found this in cash converts for 99p, that's complete. Doesn't run as well as it does on PC, I must say, which is obvious, but 99p, I'm not going to say no. Next, I've got a few of these because I want to collect uh, Dragon Ball Z merchandise. There's Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. I remember playing this when I was really young, probably 12, 13 years old. It was good back then, but it's probably terrible now compared to Tenkaichi. Next one, Dragon Ball Final Bout. Um, I also got these off Game Trader on Facebook. I paid £10 total for those two, so that's nice. Uh, what should I show you next? I've got a Vita game. I got it because it were a fiver at game. Virtual Tennis 4. I watch a little bit of tennis. I mean, I'm not, I'm no fan by any means, but 
Um, for a fiver, graphically it's really pretty on Vita, nice easy trophies to collect so I always like that. Next one, um, one of my newer purchases, PS3 Final Fantasy X slash Ten Two HD Remaster. Now I'm a massive, massive Final Fantasy fan, FF10 is in the top three of mine. Uh, just behind FF12 and in front of, well, no, actually, behind FF12 and behind FF7. Yeah, it probably goes 12, 7, 10, 9. Probably in that order. Yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful. This is the standard a HD remake needs to be, and I said exactly the same when I got the Metal Gear Solid HD. This looks even better than that. It's fan fucking tastic. Never enjoyed FF10 too, but I'm going to give it a go this time. Move on to some more PS3. I had to get. Do -do 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 -do. Battlefield 4, you love it or you hate it, if you play online shooters you're either COD or you Battlefield, or like a normal person you could play both and not bitch about it. Battlefield 4 is broken to hell, bought this on PS3, thought it was, uh, it was just no upgrade to number 3, um, and then used the uh, £9.99 upgrade voucher to PS4, if you can see that without my hands Parkinson in everywhere, but yeah, um, saved me a bit of money in that sense. I do play Battlefield 4 a lot on PS4, I've probably racked about 55 to 60 hours on it so far. Um, yeah, looks really nice on PS4 if we're honest. Got a lot of friends who enjoy it, so could not go without that. Next, this is still sealed, but I am going to be busting it open because it's really cheap. And despite what people say, it is a really good game. Uh, Brink by Bethesda got absolutely panned by reviewers, critics, whatever. But for some reason, I just, I just find it really, really enjoyable. If you're playing it on your own, not so much. If you've got a team of two or three mates, it is absolutely fantastic. Um, how it runs, it kind of reminds me of how you play Payday, you, you, um, if anyone's played that, it's the heist game, you just do the same missions over and over with your friends, levelling up, unlocking your abilities and getting eventually better at it, so that's Brink, next, Star Wars Force Unleashed, the Ultimate Sith Edition, I wanted this one because there is no way I was paying 7 99 for each of the three DLC packs for half an hour's gameplay each, fuck that, saw this on Amazon for £12, been looking for it for a while, Bit of a shame I didn't get the steel case one on the collectible cards, but the three DLC packs add some nice, um, nice extra missions and story content for the uh, for Starkiller, Galen Marek is called. And the last in these pickups is Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zeroes. The uh, some people call it a demo. I disagree because a demo doesn't really have a beginning and an end. This has got a plot to follow through to the end. Um, people are saying, "Oh, I've got two hours gameplay. Fuck off." I've got one trophy left to collect, I've been playing the hell out of it and I've done about 14 hours. So for 24 99 14 hours worth on a Metal Gear game, that's the length of a Metal Gear game normally anyway and you pay 40 so I don't know why people bitch about it. Just If you're a Metal Gear fan just fucking buy it and yeah, cry about it later which I guarantee you won't. Graphically it is out of this world, it looks absolutely fantastic, runs on the Fox engine which obviously is now going to be the new standard for graphics. Final Fantasy and Metal Gear Solids always have the best graphics on put on console games without a doubt people can disagree but it's absolutely true um a few what are actually standing out now though uh, the last of us i know that's getting a hd remaster on ps4 which will look absolutely beautiful so we'll see how that holds up there we go that's all uh, that's all my pickups since ps4 and just a little bit just a little bit before then um thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it comment on any games if you uh, if you've got any opinion on them and i'll see you shortly